Alright, we're way out here in the middle of nowhere. You can just barely see the mountains out there because of the smoke. And then here looks like some volcanic rock here. And we are going to be going and finding some petroglyphs. This is our friend Lori, who we met up, who stays up here. So she's going to take us to their location. Spoiler alert, if you don't want to know where the petroglyphs are, look away now. They're right there. We're going to go walk up and take a closer look. Here we are at the petroglyphs. We chose our steps very carefully to make sure we didn't step on anything else because some of these have crumbled and fallen down and they're scattered everywhere. Um... Do you have any idea who would have been in this area that could have created these? This is uh, Shoshone and Payot, but I believe it's the Shoshone that have done the petroglyphs. And there's some scattered, I can see another one from here, um, but further around there's a lot more, so we'll explore those as, as well. But I don't know how old they are, um, going back thousands of years. Here's another petroglyph just above the rock that we were at. Kind of looks kind of looks like a snake or a water, maybe a river. Yeah. We have found some figures on the rock finally. But if you look around, I mean these things just keep going and going and going. I'm going to climb up here get a, a little bit of a better view. See from this, I mean, they're just everywhere you look, you can see them. There's dozens and dozens of them. Do you know, this actually reminds me of a newspaper rock. Oh, at the the petrified forest, the, the painted desert. Yeah. Yeah, I can see what you mean. It's just absolutely incredible. It stretches all the way up to the top almost. This is the opposite side of where we just were. That's where we were just sitting and coming down to this side of the rocks, they're just absolutely everywhere you look. This entire piece of the mountain, just it seems like every rock is covered with uh, some writings or something. I mean, even here on the ground, I'll walk over this. Down here, it looks like a, there's a fern that they put here on the other side. What's this? Um, I don't know. I guess you could call that maybe a coyote. Something with four legs. I'm just kind of making it up as I go along here because I'm just, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm overwhelmed at the amount of glyphs and everything along this mountain. It really is remarkable. Um, well, I guess there's nowhere to go but up. Get a close up view here. This one, I, I know we showed you one of water earlier. This one looks more like a snake, that squiggly line. And another interesting thing, I kind of touched on it a little bit earlier, but um, a lot of these petroglyphs were on these rocks that have since crumbled down and are fallen. So some of them are buried, some of them are face down, so we don't really know exactly the full scope of what was out here. And adding on to that, we were told even archaeologists studying this area had no idea these were even out here. They weren't on any of their maps of the areas that they were told to be studying. So this is really an incredible place. This has got to be my favorite find of the day so far. As you can see, there are two figures on this rock. The one on the right looks human-esque. The one on the left, though, that looks more alien to me. So does this mean that this is proof that extraterrestrials made contact with the natives? To give you all an idea how far up we've climbed, there you can see that little dirt pathway. That was the wash we walked up earlier. And we're getting more and more excited because we keep finding more and more petroglyphs. So we keep climbing higher and higher up the mountain. We're almost at the top. See, the top is just right there. So, but this is just giving us a second wind because it's so neat to be finding these. And it's just, they just keep going on. So what do you think? It's fabulous amazing i i don't know where to look next all right we've come up from way out there to 
to a spot that they call Baby Head. And I'll tell you why in a minute. See this little cave up here? It's unfortunate now people have put a mattress and some of their rubbish in here. Typical, isn't it? But story goes... So this is the cave where the skull of a baby's head was found about 15 years ago. Um, they do believe that the skull had been found by animals and been dragged out after heavy rainfalls. And they dated the skull back centuries and as far as we know it was a Shoshone child that had been buried which is very very unusual for the Shoshone to do that. They believe that it could be like a princess or a chief's daughter so this baby was very very special. It was buried with artifacts and they just found the skull. The skull is apparently in a museum in Reno. All right, so we're just a little ways from Baby Head. Uh, we came across these petroglyphs, kind of like we did the other day, but these have a lot more on these two rocks. Um, so we're kind of just standing here making up stories as to what we think they kind of mean. We ha do see a squiggly line. We do know that that means water. Uh, some of the other ones we're trying to to figure out what they mean. Um, like right there, that to us looks like a shield. Um, have no idea if we're correct at all or if we're way off base. Like I said, we're just kind of there at the top. It looks like an ant person. So, any of you out there have any ideas, please comment. Let us know. We'd love to hear from you. Alright guys, that's going to do it for us today on these adventures. So remember, get out there, have fun, go put another pin in the atlas. And we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye.